has to be said that it's going to be a really difficult Christmas for everybody concerned within the British monarchy. And not just the monarchy, of course, but us, the people here in the United Kingdom, the Commonwealth around the world. There will be one person missing that is normally part of our Christmas celebrations. Of course, we're talking about our wonderful late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. But now, apparently, a report has come out basically claiming that King Charles III's very first Christmas speech will be a lot less formal, and more importantly, no one will have to watch it. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London, and as ever, nice to have your company. It's still raining, it's still miserable, it's still November. We've got months of this. Oh, don't, I'll try not to moan on. I've told you before, haven't I? I'm more of a summer, spring person. I like that type of time of year, don't you? You know, when you can sit outside, even with just your flask and a couple of biscuits, you know what I mean? You don't have to think, oh, have I got my coat, got my scarf, my gloves? Everything's hard work, isn't it? That's the only thing, really, about winter. We have that nice, wonderful time to celebrate the birth of Christ, Christmas Day. And it's an important day for many people, obviously. But more importantly, it's an important time in the calendar of the British monarchy. Because on Christmas Day, we always look forward to the public address given by the reigning monarch. You know, this all started way back in the 1930s via radio. Must have been absolutely daunting, don't you think, for the king to address the subjects in that way. And I believe, you know, even though it was pre-recorded, he did struggle a lot with it, you know, trying to get the tone right. I'm sure you'd agree that our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, was absolutely brilliant at doing the Christmas Day broadcast. She really sort of like made you look back at the year that had just gone and with hope for the new year. Now, all eyes, of course, will be on King Charles, seemingly because it's his very first go at this. Now, a lot of people are basically saying, you know, will it be pre-recorded? How fast will it be done? It will be recorded about four days prior to broadcast so that we can include of course, things that are happening in the world right now. But a former royal reporter for the BBC has basically claimed, and this is, you know, when you think about it, where do they get these things from? That the Christmas will be less sort of formal at Sandringham this year, and that King Charles would like it to be less rigid. Now, firstly, let me explain this. You know, it's never been rigid. It's always been informal. It's always been about relaxing. It's their time as much as our time. You know, the Christmas festive period is about relaxing, seeing friends, seeing family, and virtually just switching off from the rigors of everyday life. And this will be no different for the royals. But then she also went on to state that, you know, they will not be forced to watch the king's speech, his very first Christmas speech, as was, you know, the you know, situation with Her Majesty the Queen. Everybody gathered round in the main living room at Sandringham or indeed Windsor, to watch the Queen's speech. Really as a mark of respect. I mean, you know, they'd not seen it like the rest of us. It was the very first time that senior royals had actually seen what she'd said. So how true is this? Absolute rubbish. They will all be gathering together to watch the very first King's speech as the reigning monarch during his very first Christmas broadcast. But it's strange, isn't it? Because if you read the newspapers, you believe that these things are, well, the truth. Over here on this channel, as I've said many times, we like to investigate, we contact the relevant people, and they tell me that they were as dismayed about this particular report as well, you, know, you will be now hearing it for the first time. So if you are concerned or worried and thinking, is King Charles really changing all these wonderful traditions that have been previously set for many years by our wonderful late monarch? Fear not. Everybody, like the rest of us, will be gathering round no doubt with a cup of tea and a mince pie, all ready to enjoy King Charles III's very first Christmas speech. And as ever, I'd love to know what you think to it directly on Boxing Day. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.